so happened to be visiting kind of a, an interesting little place called Bryn Athen College. Um, that what, what I'm showing you right there is is what's called the Bryn Athen Cathedral, which according to what I understand about how it's built, there are no right angles on the building. Um, I can't get over there because it's Sunday and it's mass and it's pretty miserable. Um, that there is on this property of the Glencairn Museum, which is also closed because of church. And then behind me is the Glencairn Estate. Um, the Carnwood Estate, no wait, what's it called? Yeah, Car Carnwood Estate, um, which is pretty massive. But what's interesting about Brynathen College is that uh, the this is the center of Swedenborgian um, Christianity, which is the outcropping of a theologian back in the 18th century called Emanuel Swedenborg. And he's considered the founder of what's called the New Church. Um, and back in the 19th century, in the 1800s, late 1800s, um, I think it was the Carnwood family, I'm not sure, donated all this land for what was called the Bryn Athen College of the New Church. And um, that's what the college is over in that direction. You could sort of see the soccer field, I think, to the left and the college is over there. So, um, you know, this was part of a really interesting period in history where a lot of these schools, these religious schools, popped up, especially in the late 19th century. Um, so you see a lot of faith schools. Um, you know, there's probably you know, 5,300 schools in the United States, and a lot of them are... Hi! Oh, my umbrella! Okay, now I'm at the top of the hill. That is the Carnwood Estate, and to my behind me to the right is the Glencairn Museum. That is where, right over there across the tree line, you can sort of make out, I think, um, Renathen College, which is right along there. And that there is the cathedral, the Renathen Cathedral. And, I mean, spectacular view. And the soccer field is right over there. Okay, so I'm heading back. Um, I was trying to explain earlier before the wind. It's windy and rainy today, so um, the wind before the wind sort of blew my umbrella inside out. But um, you know, if you studied. 18th, 19th century history like I have, in quotes, grad school. Um, you know that that time period was, there's tremendous amount of religious fervor, religious upheaval, lots of, lots of interesting ideas about, you know, Christianity and the belief in God and whatnot. And you see a lot of a lot of, say, breakaway churches, for lack of a better term, um, all with different ideas about the Christian faith. Um, you know, Emanuel Swedenborg, who is the sort of the philosophical and theological father of Swedenborgianism, um, was, uh, you know, one of many. You know, Obviously, John Wesley, who, you know, of the 500, let's say, schools out there, at least folks, it, it's breezy. Um, there's probably close to 200. So, walking around, and I mentioned this earlier, I'm, I'm surprised, not surprised. Um, 
it's noticeable how much care they take with the facilities they have and the landscaping and um, I mean as there is I've mentioned it it's meticulous it's you know the beds are are edged and they're clean and there's not spaces where you see weeds grow they trimmed everything back for the winter and uh, even areas where you would think it's going to be you know like it would just be natural growth they've you know, trim that back to allow you know for better growth in the spring and um really 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 impressed again it's it's a small school but uh i don't know what the enrollment is but it is definitely a, a neat place to be at all right came out of a Brickman Hall or Brickman Center. They have the cafeteria there. No bookstore, no hat. Gosh darn it. We gotta talk about that. Um, this is the Swedenborg Library, which I guess is the main library on campus. And it's looks like a nice little plaza overlooking a lot of space. Now, it's interesting. It's, I get the sense here that they're very attentive to detail. I mean, the place is immaculate. It really is. The lawn, I mean, the grass, whatever it is, it's dormant, but everything's super clean. Um, I think the dorms are over that direction. But I'm gonna walk over here because I think there's more stuff, so. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, again, another interesting little college. And that's, I think, what, uh, really appeals to me about these small schools is that they're all very unique in their own character, their own, you know, foundations, their own, whether they be religious or public, they all have a different sense of mission and you're not going to find two that are alike. Um, but all right, keep wandering. So if you could see behind me, that's the Doring Center. And I guess that's the science and technology center for the school. Um, I mean, real modern, really interesting contrast between sort of the traditional style and um, some of the buildings with some modern touches. And so I'm gonna be walking away from there. I came from right over there and sort of wandered through. And wow, it looks like it opens up over here. So, all right. right there but I think the school I think those are school buildings like we're in Athens there's like three buildings but I think the rest of this is what's called the Academy of the New Church the secondary school so I think there's like high school and what, what have you and this seems to be mainly the campus on this and this is an administrative building which looks kind of funky out of place but um, yeah so, like I said, I'm sort of doing a 360 here, but I think there's the, these three, the one, you can see the second one, but there's a third in between. Those are academic buildings, ones of fine arts that I know of. Um, and then I think the schools have sort of this, in this direction. And behind there, there's more athletic fields and whatnot. But I, like I said, I think that's for the school. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna head back to campus. If I can't watch a little bit of a soccer game, maybe I'll film. I mean, I already got a goal on film, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the um, General Ronald K. Nelson field um, turf. Unfortunately, they're 
games going on, so I can't get on the field, but I figured I would give you a good look. There's a scoreboard over that way, right there. Renapin College. Let's see, they have Ryan Moto, I think. And that keeper just went way off his line, but um, it's actually the college is over on that way, so we're on the one end. And it's sort of cut into a hill, which probably makes this a really cool place in the fall to watch a game. I don't know what kind of amount of folks they get, but it would be pretty cool to have that, um, that set up where you have a bunch of folks on the, on the hill uh, supporting. There's no real bleachers. There's some bleachers over on the backside where the... Um, where the benches are, but not much after that. Oh, we might get a goal here. Golazo. Ooh, does a flip and everything. That's awesome. Okay. So, I'm gonna start wandering, and sorry if I can get in the middle, I will, but uh, otherwise, that's, that's the field. So I'm gonna walk around campus. You need to know the blue team is winning. one nothing. Scored on a set piece. So the men's and women's team play here. I think the women made the NCAAs. I don't think the men did, but um, they lost in the first round. But like I said, this is on the one side of campus to the left to, um, is the rest of campus. And up top where you can see the flags, that's that Jung Center, which is the ice skating, or ice skating, hockey rink, which I think they're pretty good at. 